Hi, so this is all about the PE and the courses that we're doing for year 10. This year it's slightly different. We're running one course, the same as what we've done in previous year with our current year 10s. The course is run by a qualification group called NCFE. It's a level two course and it's in what's called health and fitness. It's the equivalent of a GCSE or a BTEC that might have been taken previously. Um, you could do the course for your own personal reasons, you could do the course because you want to go on to college to study sport further, you might want to be a physiotherapist, you might want to be a sports coach, anything to do with sport that's fine. It might just be because you enjoy it, we'd love to encourage you to do it as well. Within this content you have to learn about theory and you have to learn about the practical. I'll go on to that in a little bit. The theory contents, there are nine areas that we teach and that we go through uh, and there are some of them on here. These will include the body systems, they will include fitness, tests of fitness, methods of training, and how you can apply those to yourself and to others around you. In year uh, uh, 10, we get given, you will get given a PE folder, you'll get given all the work that you need to take part in, the lessons are taught by all of the PE department. Uh, the first thing is you have a controlled assignment, which is worth 60% taken part in the classroom, and then you'll have one exam in the hall, which is worth 40%. Just an example of some of the work that we'll be doing throughout the assignment. We will start that in year 11 of uh, in the November, okay? And in the May of the year 11, that is when we do the exam, which is the 40%. We will not be doing any of the uh, controlled assignment before that, you'll be learning all the content. However, you will be doing mock uh, scenario questions, mock papers, mock questions as a practice and just for us to see what you know and what we still need to teach you. The practical expectation is that you will take part in practical throughout the course. It's not as regimented as this is every lesson as practical, we, we build it in throughout. There's when we do the fitness testing, we do lots more practical than what we're doing when we're looking at, say, the body systems and how our body reacts to when we play football, for example. We'll do a number of different sports and you must take part in the sports lessons. However, you are not assessed on your practical ability. So if you enjoy sport and you're, you, you might not be the best at it, but you enjoy it, you can still do really well in this course. When you're doing the theory, you'll be asked to put some notes together, some extra. You could do things such as revision cards, and there's a link there for you to go on. You should be able to make your own, but you can use others that have been made for you. There'll be a number of resources provided for you to use. Um, these are just simple examples, and then this is one that's been filled out. Um, we'll do knowledge organizers, learning grids, lesson notes, and then we'll learn about it practically and, out and apply it to the sporting situation also. Lastly, if you've got any information, do let us know. But we do have, at the beginning of this course, around a four-week induction period. That four-week induction allows you to get a feel for the course. Are you doing the course that you want to do? Or maybe, is it not right for you? Within those four weeks, you will have the chance to change your option should you wish to.